So this is quite a bit backwards, but in this video, we're going to show you cutting down trees and milling up those trees to build our new pole barn, which now is mostly completed. But uh, just because of, of, you know, having uh, people helping me and, and injuries, things like that, I've been slacking on the videos. So I didn't have a opening to all the ones where we were cutting down trees and getting ready to build this barn. And uh, so here we are, the barn is built. So I'll give you a little preview of what it looks like right now. And uh, the cows are in it and then we'll keep on rolling. So basically right now the barn is completed at a minimum. And I mean, it's, it's, it's very good and it's, it's doing its job. They're undercover, gives them a place to eat. Uh, the headlocks are set up and um, but there's just some little details still yet to finish like building the doors putting the metal on the gable ends oh you can see a little gap in the back corner but like i said minimums and a lot of people spent a lot of time here helping me and um, we're in good shape to have the cows in here now luckily so so here we are uh, i just fed the cows um we got these are the headlocks uh, the water isn't even set up yet, so as you can see, I'm, I'm filling up a water trough right now uh, off this hydrant. Turn it off. That back there, you can see that. That will be a frost-free water, which we have. I just have to do a little bit of plumbing work on the float and things like that, but um, for now, this is working. And this is some some cold cold weather we're having right now we've had 13 to 18 degree nights so it's been chilly but the cows are pretty happy they're in here they're out of the wind and out of the snow uh, in the back half we got a bed pack for them so they can lay on and then uh in the front the front half we're just uh they pull bedding up there of course but uh for the most part we're just keeping it clean and then we'll scrape that out regularly so this is the cow barn. Still quite a bit to do on it, but it's in real good shape. Here we are finally getting a video out. Uh, you can see in the beginning we were in t-shirts cutting trees down. It was beautiful out and now it's snowing cold and the barn is up and we're using it. It's awesome. <laughs> stepping on it. That's how you don't cut down a tree, folks. That's right. We got hung up, so we, we got hung up in another tree, so we had to get a rope up there. And Chris is taking up the slack, and she's gonna go over. She's gone. You guys made a heck of a beautiful hinge cut. It's perfect. Good work, man. That only took five minutes, right? Yeah. Light work. <laughs>
to the tree. Alright. Let's do this again. We got the we got it freed up. We're pulling out two logs. And the stairs on the tree house are coming down. They're junk, so that's alright. That's a nice pull. Dang, that's that a lot of. Right there, he's right there. That's a lot of tree. That so is a lot of tree. I could get probably right there, right to that, right to that tree. I'll be able to get my rear tire right to that other tree. That's what we did. That's awesome, man. I can't believe that this. this Nice pole barn for the cows. This is Larchwood. L-A-R-C-H. Larch. Show them everything. Yeah, put it there, Gary. Yep, pull it through. Yep. Come on. We're going all day. Yep, pull it through. Yep. Now hook it on, okay? Hook it on, Gary. <laughs> Get 
combining soybeans yesterday and a little bit this morning I finished up that one field like I was saying and the rain did come through we had pretty good soaking rain so my buddy Garrett was uh, he, not much he can do when it's wet out so he called me up he said you want to do some melon so we're keeping on with that my niece Riley she showed up to help and uh, Jamie my buddy Jamie he come over too so works out great so we're getting a bunch of wood stacked up and stickered and this is all going for the new bull barn that's for the cows. Urban tumbleweed. Well, we're done milling for the day. Hi, Garrett. I like getting close up to Garrett. <laughs> And in another video, we'll have a, it'll be a time lapse of the, the barn being built. Um, while we were putting it up, we, uh, we set the camera up doing a time lapse every day of the, of the main days, like digging, setting poles, um, getting the purlins on and the framing, and then uh, setting trusses and getting metal on the roof and on the walls, those things. So just wanted to catch up. It's been a little bit. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.